Morning everyone, today's our first full day in Ishigaki and we've started somewhat early, I've just finished getting ready. It's a little bit of a different look today because we're going out on a boat, we're going out on the water, so this is our first time getting into the Okinawa water and we're actually going to be swimming with manta rays. Hopefully, I had heard that they're meant to be there but who knows, Brent's a little bit doubtful if they'll actually be there where we're going on this little tour. So I've just done my hair in these plaits. I've tried to section the top part back so it kind of looks like braids but it's not braids I can't do that so either way all out of my face and I feel like it looks kind of nice or it'll look nice when they're wet and dry as well just because I wanted to keep my hair out of my face and still look somewhat nice I've also just put on a little bit of sunscreen and a tiny bit of powder over the top and that's just to of course keep out of the sun but I didn't want to look super duper shiny here's the outfit in the worst little mirror in the world I'm right next to this door separating the kitchen from the bedroom, but I've just got this overshirt again. I've tied it up and this should keep the sun off me and then I'll be able to wear it later when I get changed after being in the water. Swimsuits are ready. I've just got this black one piece from Rosewe and then also back to the mix mix shorts. This is the outfit for going on the boat. Later I'll be able to just put on another shirt underneath this and head back, but I think it looks all right even though I feel very wide out here by all three outfit choices, but oh well, I'm ready to go out on the water. I think we've got to head out because we're waiting on our little tour group bus to pick us up. So we're gonna head out now and I'll see you out there. I've just come to the tour guide spot and I'm into wetsuits. We just finished a little snorkel and we saw a turtle or two turtles and also and a lot of fish. It was awesome and now we're about to go and try and see some terrain. Alright, here I am back on dry land, obviously. We didn't end up seeing any manta rays, but the view was beautiful and of course we saw the turtles and we saw some sea snakes and lots of fish. And now I think we're just going back to have some lunch. All right, we've been back from the trip today for a little while. I've just washed my hair since it felt really gross from the ocean water and I'm about to dry it. Tonight we might be going out to dinner as well with some people we met on the tour. We'll have to wait and see if we meet up with them. But I think I'm just gonna be relaxing for the next little bit, trying to make my hair look kind of presentable, but I'm gonna be swimming again tomorrow, so I'm not too worried. Anyway, um, I can't remember if I updated or not. We didn't see any manta rays. I think I might have said, but still, the tour was really good. We went through Emerald Ocean tours. They had good food and really good service and everything like that. But now, what I'm gonna be doing, like I said, is just relaxing, so I'm gonna dry my hair now. All right, hair's dry now. I very rarely dry my hair with a hair dryer, but it did, of course, dry very quickly. I didn't tone it or anything like that when I washed it as well, just because I know I'm gonna be swimming the next few days, so it seemed kind of pointless. But it looks all right, at least good enough to go out to dinner. Also, I noticed while I hold my hand up, you might not be able to see, I did get a little bit sunburnt just on the back of my hand there, on both sides. It's really bright. Maybe it's a bit clearer to see now. I feel like it probably didn't look so bad just because I've been slathering my hands, just the backs of them where they're burnt in that Hawaiian Tropic After Sun lotion. And I feel like it helps a lot, but I'm just really worried that it's gonna get dry and painful tomorrow, especially since I'm gonna be in the sun again. But I guess I'm just gonna be as careful as I can and wear as much sunscreen. I was worried about getting burnt since I don't go to the beach often and when I do it's not four days at a time or long days so I guess in a way it was kind of inevitable but at least we've got plenty more sunscreen and I've got plenty more of this after sun stuff. Anyway I think what I'm going to do now is just relax for the next few hours. It is actually it's already five o'clock 
but um, I'm going to relax. I'm going to do my makeup before heading out to dinner. If we do meet up with the people that we met on the tour today, they're just a couple from, where were they from? Amsterdam. If we do meet up with them, I think we're going to meet at 6.30 and then decide on where to go for dinner. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy this rest time and I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to stand a little ways back, not heaps, but just short. And what do I do? Just press and hold? Yeah, I'll just... Yeah, it's on. We're taking the outfit of the night on the road tonight since we left to get to dinner on time. So I've got a cameraman helping me. This is the dress that I'm wearing. It is by Kit and Demore. I just thought it was a nice summery sort of white dress. It's very comfortable. And back of the Kmart sandals. I'm hoping that they don't cause me any blisters. I think like lightning, it should only strike once. But that's the outfit and we're on our way to dinner. Oh, back in the room now. Tonight was really good. I know I didn't have any updates or anything like that. But we just hung out with the people from Holland and that was really good just to chat to people in English for a little bit. Their English was really good. I guess I didn't really know what to expect but it was just like having a chat with old friends really. Even though we only met them today. It was just nice to chat to people talking about traveling around Japan and the tour that we went on today. So I'm glad that we went out with them. We went out to a... Oh god, where was it? It was like a Japanese barbecue sort of thing. And then we went out to a craft beer bar afterwards. So that was nice and just good things to do with a group of people, I guess. But I think that's everything I needed to share now. Of course, I didn't vlog because I was with new people and didn't want to be shoving a camera in their face. But yeah, that's everything for now. I'm feeling very tired, so I'm just going to go to bed. And I think we have another early start in the morning. So I'm just going to be leaving it here. And I'll see you in the morning. Morning everyone from our second full day in Ishigaki. This morning we're just getting ready and we've done a bit of laundry as well. But we're getting ready to head over to one of the islands nearby. We're just going to be catching a ferry to Takatomi Island and exploring it by ourselves, doing a bit of a swim and look around. I've already gotten dressed for the day. I've got my swimsuit on underneath some of the clothes. Again, this is the worst situation for trying to show, but I'll do my best. I've just got this little overshirt again. I've been wearing it a lot and I really didn't think I would, but I love it. I think it's good just to keep the sun off and it's nice and light and breezy. And underneath, I've just got this swimsuit from Rosewee and I'll make sure that I share how it looks when I'm at the beach, but I'm dressed and ready now. So I'm just going like this and the alley skirt again. And I'm just gonna be wearing some sandals. Also probably a big hat because I think I got quite sunburned yesterday. I'm noticing more and more it's strange places like the tops of my ears. Or I guess that's pretty standard when you do get sunburned. Um, the backs of my hands are actually doing a lot better. I think the after sun has helped heaps and apart from that my back had a tiny bit of a burn but it's not that bad and looking a lot better today. So fingers crossed that with everything I'm doing I don't get further burns. I guess today's the second last day that we're out in the sun swimming and doing things like that. So we're just going to be extra cautious and take care, but also have a lot of fun as well. I'm really keen because I think today will be a bit more relaxing and it'll just be nice to go out and check out the water at our own pace. But I think that's everything I needed to update on. So we're just going to head out and I'll share everything from here. <laughs> We're on Takatomi now, and to get around the island, we have rented some bikes. I haven't ridden a bike in ages, so this will be interesting. I'm a very outdoorsy girl. I am sweaty spaghetti right now. That bike ride was maybe 15 minutes or so. Much better than walking, but I figured it out. It was at least 10 years since I've ridden a bike in a mini skirt, no less. I think I did pretty well because I didn't walk. We just found a little spot to sit on the beach and taking a break for lunch. And then I think we might find a little area just by ourselves for a swim. I can't get over the water, it really is gorgeous. We just did another short bike ride after eating because we realized there's a better beach.
done with our swimming. The water was beautiful. It wasn't very deep, so we kind of just sat in the water, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad we had the underwater camera again. Don't know how the pictures turned out, but at least it was better to have something than nothing, and more importantly, really nice memories from today. Anyway, I think we're just going to collect our bikes and ride back into the main part of town so we can return them and then catch a ferry back to the main island. Alright, we've just gotten back to the hotel after our little day on Takatomi Island and I thought I'd do a little burn check. I don't think I got sunburnt at all. I feel like because of all the white I'm wearing though and the fact I'm getting a little sun, I'm starting to look a tiny bit tanned for me, which is very strange. I think I was a little burn here yesterday and I think that's the same. But I feel pretty lucky. I'm glad that we were able to stay out of the sun as much as we did, even though we did swim and spent a fair bit of time in the water. The water was so beautiful, I didn't really get much footage inside the water swimming around or anything like that, just because we were very careful that we did use the underwater camera, so I can't wait to get those pictures developed. But I think what I'm going to do now is just quickly wash my hair, get changed, and I feel like I normally have the same routine every afternoon. That's just unwinding, redoing my makeup, getting a bit of, you know, tea or a snack or something like that to re-energize and then later heading out to dinner. So I'm just going to do that now and then hopefully checking back when I look a little bit less like a drowned rat. All right, I'm all ready now. I've just tried to dry my hair a little bit and put this frangipani in that I got from the aquarium. I've really been loving wearing flowers in my hair just because I'm on holiday and it feels kind of tropical. I'm going to try and jam in besides this mirror. Here's my outfit for the night. I'm just wearing this mix mix top. It looks like it's sitting a bit funny. It's just off the shoulder with these little straps. I wore a blue one the other night and I don't think I shared my outfit, but mix mix top, mix mix skirt. This is just a little pink floaty skirt and I've got some heels for once. These are from Famous Footwear or something like that. But this is the outfit and I think we're off in search of Italian food. So I'm just gonna head out and of course I'll share what I get up to for dinner. And I think we're doing a bit of souvenir shopping as well. So I've just come to get dinner at somewhere called Azura. Looks really good. I've got this tomato based pasta and Ren has pork bolognese, which looks really nice as well. The bread smell incredible. So I'm going to start eating. Dinner is so good. I haven't had pasta in ages. For some reason, I never really order it out, but I love this. I'm going to little red wine as well. It's really quite incredible as well. This place is entirely empty. So we know the food is very fresh. It was just cooked for us and us alone. Um, it's really tasty. Only worth it. But there's not a lot of pasta here. A uh, very big portion, I feel. So I'm going to need some help to eat this. But I'm just going to keep going. We finished up at dinner and now we've done a little bit of souvenir shopping. We've gotten a fair bit out of the way, so we're happy with that. And now we're just out for dessert. We did try hunting for blue seal ice cream, but couldn't find it anywhere. Even so, at least we had it once, so I'm happy about that as well. And we found somewhere else for dessert. We've got Yukiso, Yukiso, Yukiso soft ice cream, and it looks really good. This is brown sugar soft serve, and I can't wait to try it. All right, back to the hotel now, and you already know the drill. We're going to be watching some Harry Potter. I think we're up to half blood prints and I'm just gonna be taking off my makeup so I've been using face halos for ages now and of course this has been good to travel with as well I've literally only packed one and I've just been washing it so I'm just gonna take off my makeup now and get ready for bed watch a bit of the movie and go to sleep I think it's about 8 30 now and I want to have somewhat of an early night since tomorrow is gonna to be pretty full-on it's gonna be one of the most uh, busy days on the trip I think or at the very least for the Okinawa region but I suppose I won't get mm, too much into chatting about it now because you'll see everything tomorrow. So I might leave this here and I'll see you in the morning.
Morning everyone, I'm coming to you out of the hotel room to start the day. We had a bit of an early day because we had to set off on an early morning ferry and I didn't update on there because I felt a little bit seasick, but I'm feeling a lot better now. And now we've just gotten to Eremote Island, I think it's called, and we're gonna be doing a kayaking day. So just because we're gonna be in the water swimming, I won't be bringing my vlogging camera, but we do have the underwater camera. So I'll see if I can put in any pictures if they look good and I guess just chat to you when I get back. So I'm just gonna leave you here and I'll see you in the afternoon, I guess. everyone, deja vu. I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday, same hair clip and everything. We've just gone back to the room this afternoon after our ferry ride back, which I fell asleep on. I was so tired. So I'm just going to set you there. Oh, I don't know why I didn't set this here to show my little outfits and things the whole time. Anyway, I'm just getting the final touches ready, shoes on and all that. Packing a little bag because we're about to go to dinner with the new little friends that we made, um, our Dutch friends, Jill and Sven. We're going to a restaurant we wanted to go to the other night, but they were booked out, so that should be fun. It's definitely not in my nature to normally make new friends and just, it's difficult for me to meet people in general, but I think uh, lately I've been doing a bit better at it and Bren is very friendly and good at that sort of thing. So it's nice to have familiar sort of faces to talk to, even though we've only hung out with them, I guess one and a half times before this. But it'll just be a good night, I think. I think this is their last night in Ishigaki too, as well as us. So a little bit of a farewell to the island, I guess. And I think we're going to have an early night, which I may have said already, because in the morning we're due to fly out to another destination. Anyway, that's something I'm going to get into tomorrow. But for now, I think we've got to get out the door and head on our way to dinner. Hey everyone, I just thought to touch base because I'm back in the room after tonight. I'm going to bed soon since it's 10 o'clock and I've had a little amamori, um, but tonight was really good hanging out with our Dutch friends and tomorrow we're going to be traveling again to another city and another region, so I'm really excited about that. I just wanted to say goodnight and I'll see you in the morning. Sorry as well about the dry vlogs today, there really wasn't much to share just because I left my camera in the locker when we're on our travel adventure and then I just didn't use it when we're out tonight since I was having a lot of fun. But tomorrow I guess there'll be a little bit to share and then moving forward the next few days. But I'm just going to leave it here and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> 